pixels can be described in several ways. The color encoding modifier allows you to switch from one representation to another. It contains a single parameter defining the origin and destination modes. This means we can go from the well-known RGB mode to other modes such as LAB, YUV, and YCBCR. For each of these modes, we see we can go one way or the other while converting. If you choose RGB to YUV conversion, the three channels will now contain Y, the luminance information, and U and V, which carry the chrominance information. We can use the viewer's channels inspector to see that the red channel now contains Y, the luminance, and that green and blue contain U and V information. Duplicating this modifier and changing its mode from YUV to RGB allows us to perform the reverse operation. In this way, we should recover exactly the same colors. This can be verified by switching these two modifiers off and on. The goal now is to add intermediate modifiers between these two conversions. One typical application is to add a blur between them, not on the red channel which contains the luminance, but only on the green and blue which contains the UV chrominance information. By unchecking the red option, we perform a chroma smoothing operation that blurs the color component without impacting the luminance in which most of the detail is located. This operation is especially useful when you need to work on footages that has been shot against a green background with a high level of color compression. This chroma smoothing, with a blur value of 2 to 4 pixels, can greatly improve the results of chroma keying.